So yeah, um, we're just hanging out today. Um, we're doing a Q and A, and so happy to see your beautiful faces. You know, we don't have to talk or anything, but I just seeing a smile is always nice. Yeah. So what's up? How's it going? I do YouTube videos. I've been doing it for six years, three years professionally. Uh, I travel out to like every con in America. I did it for the past two years. Uh, I do a little bit of acting. I do a little bit of modeling. I do. Um, I create it and illustrate stuff too. I do a little bit of everything. But that's because it's all fun. If you're having fun with what you're doing, then why stop? You know. So, you know, making YouTube videos is the best. Illustrating is the best. Meeting people is the best. Like YouTube is the best place for that. You can meet people and create content and make friends. And I was just like, man, that's like, that's awesome. <laughs> so yeah. If you guys have any questions? Let me know. Yeah, so why don't we start out, tell us how you got started, like when was the first time you ever, you know, sort of put your toe into the waters that you currently swim in? Yeah, so, fun fact, uh, my big brother, he's the first one to give me a camera, and what we did, we had a clothing company called Loyal K&G, and so we would travel around every single dance event, car event, whatever, uh, gaming expo, and uh, we would sell, have a booth there and sell our shirts. So I would run around and make a little recap videos for the company, and it'd be like three minutes long, and it'd just show off like, you know, hey, look at this, hey, look at that, it's cool. And uh, from there, I did that for like a couple months, and then I was like, man, I see a lot of YouTubers, now that I know how to shoot and edit, let me shoot something of myself. So my first video on my YouTube channel is still up there. It's a shoe review of like the Air Jordan 6s infrared pack. It's like silly, it has nothing to do with anything, but it did really well. I released it, and I didn't think it would get like a, a couple thousand views, but it did back then, and to me that was a lot. And uh, it just kind of said, to me it was like, you should keep going, you know, keep on trying. So from then on I was like, I know you have to be consistent, so let me make a video a week. I didn't even know what I was really going to make yet. Literally the first three years of my channel, I just made random videos about every single kind of random topic. Shoes, dancing, uh, food. Vlogs, I don't know, you know, how to, how to pick up girls, okay? <laughs> pick up lines, pick up lines, yes. Um, I, and then uh, uh, around the three year mark, I went to my first convention and I made a video there. It did very well. And after that, I, I've been hooked to making con videos since. Uh, recently, this year, I've been focusing on Spider Man because he's my childhood hero. I love what he represents. He's like, you know, when I was a kid, you know, he, he's like the teenager, you know, that's growing up get made fun of or whatever and he's doing everything he can just to be a good human and he's human he has flaws and I felt found myself in that and so I dress up as him go to cons have fun and uh, so that's what I've been making recently I've done a lot of fan films too I, I produce a lot of my own film productions I live in Atlanta now so it's like really viable that's where like the film industry is kind of at right now so I help out with a lot of indie film uh, going on and I think YouTube had a lot to help with that in general because because I did YouTube videos, I knew how all about cameras, I knew how to edit videos, I knew how to do, do sound, I knew how to do lights, and when I got to the set, people were like, oh, you can do everything, and I was like, yeah, so whatever you need, let me know, and um, so if you want to do YouTube videos, it's a great way to just flex your muscles and learning how to just create something, and I think uh, everybody should try it, man. I think the future Video editing and shooting is going to be like tying your shoes. You have to know how to do it, or you should know how to do it if you want to, especially get into like the industry or just like, you know, because of Instagram, Facebook, uh, all these outlets. And it's like video editing isn't hard. It's just about what you can think about, how you can cut things, and tell a story. So, yeah, that's how I got started. <laughs> that's awesome. Okay, so what videos do you think get the best response on YouTube on your channel? Spider-Man. Okay, so look, you'll, you'll see this with a, all the biggest YouTube channels on YouTube. They create content that works, and they keep on making videos around that that works. So Game Theory, uh, yeah, Game Theory, right, MatPat. So they make videos about game theories, and they keep on making that. They don't stop and make a video about something else. They just keep on making those kind of videos. Uh, I watch a lot of YouTubers that focus on anime, or focus on Dragon Ball Z, and focus, they focus on their niche target, because you know, you, you'll probably see at the beginning of the channel, they kind of it's kind of broad spectrum. They they try a lot of things, but once you find your niche, something that works, and this might take 50 to 100 videos before that even happens, but you have to make a lot of weird stuff before you can find the solid stuff that people will watch, come to your channel to watch. So for me, that was Spider-Man whenever I hit that. Before that, I made cosplay videos, and that did really well, but Spider-Man, like, I made videos that got m millions of hits of just me in a suit having fun at a convention and people I guess gravitate towards that because it's positive, it's lighthearted, it's fun and it's all about just like 
cosplay, you know? And I think we're at a Comic Con right now, so we all love to cosplay. It's fun to be a hero. It's fun to be the character that we like on film. Um, so, yeah, that's that's what hits, you know? If you, if you want to do a YouTube channel, uh, just keep on creating what you like. And then if you see a video on your channel that does really well, Keep on making content, not exactly like that, but just around that kind of area so that you can replicate that kind of success and you find out what works and what doesn't. So, yeah. <laughs> so, one thing I really like watching your videos is that you get all of these different people dressed up and all of these people acting and dancing and just having fun. Um, how do you convince these people to be in your videos? Like, how do you? What's your sales pitch there you just to get ask. them to do it? You just ask. And the thing is, like, I remember when I first started, uh, not a lot of people knew about me, so it was really hard because a lot of people weren't comfortable. You know, uh, when you go to a con, and you're in cosplay, you normally just think about photos, you know, and you're like, okay, I'll do a pose. But for videos, it was kind of different because. I started like three years ago, you know? That's before video became popular in the, at conventions. And so people, and even now, people are just, they're more shy because video is just live, you know? You have to act, it's more than just a photo. And so, um, but the best thing you just ask, some people are down and some people aren't, and that's okay. You know, I'm just like, hey, you want to be in a video? They're like, no. I was like, okay, cool, you know? Uh, I'll just find someone else or, you know, maybe see you next time. And then I'll hit somebody up and they'll be like, yeah, let's do this! Booyah! And so, like, it really depends on the person, but just don't take it personal if somebody says no, because, like, I understand, you know? I used to be really shy when I was in high school, and I didn't want to, like, you know, be in front of or whatever, uh, but... No way. I believe it. <laughs> but then, like, through YouTube and everything, I've really opened up. Or I think, yeah, just going to convention, I think that's really opened me up, because I cosplay, and you get comfortable in front of people, you know? Like, I'm sitting on a table talking to you guys, like... I feel like home, yeah, at a Comic-Con, because, like, I feel like I'm with people that are with like interest, everybody's nice. We're in Texas, Southern hospitality is real. Woo! Freaking, I grew up here Texas. my whole life, so, yeah. <laughs> so, do you see a future? Like, what's the next step for you? My next step for me, uh, I'm gonna keep on making videos as much as I can. Uh, recently, I got an intern uh, where I live, and he's helping me edit videos and everything, because there's a lot to handle, because I have a lot of different things going on. Like, for example, I made a card game, uh, we, we had a Kickstarter. It was fully funded. We made about $8,000. We were asking for 6000 Wait, no, 5000 We asked for 5000 And so that was really good. Uh, so um, the card game is just something I really, really wanted to make. We'll be doing pre-orders today if you want to stop by and grab one. But uh, it's just, I just want to make stuff. And I think that's where my future lies, you know, whether it's a film production, whether it's like art, whether it's like, I don't know. Anything, you know, what can you imagine, you know, and I think YouTube is the perfect outlet to just kind of, you know, um, get that out to people, you know, so if you, whatever you make, you can let, let it be known, let it be seen through this outlet, you know, and if you're comfortable with it, if you're cool with it, then people will see that, you know, and they'll like it. So how do you get inspired to make a video? Like, what do you see, like, if you see someone do something, like, do you put that together in your head before you start editing? Oh, how yeah. long does it take to edit? Like, what's that process like? So I would say, like, dude, like, the first 10 or 20 times you're going to make something, you're really not going to know what you're doing. Yeah, you can script it out and everything, and it's going to work out, you know? Uh, nowadays, I've done it so much that I just already see it in my head, and I know what I want to make, but um, definitely the first couple times, like, write out what you kind of want to do. Like, for example, I'll be like, okay, let's see. I'm going to make a music video this weekend, so what do I need to do that? I'm going to need about 100 shots of cosplayers and about 50 shots of me as Spider-Man. And so we're going to try to figure out, okay, so that means I need to hit up a lot of people. And let's say about 70% of the people say yes, and then 30% say no, so I'm going to have to ask about 200 people, you know, if they want to be in a video or not. Um, and then what are we going to film? And a lot of it is improv. Uh, we're just like, hey, just dance. Hey, uh, let me take your pole, and then you hit me in the face or something. <laughs> uh, you know, give me a hug. Oh, everyone, you know, let's get the, you, you guys are a cosplay couple. Why don't you hug on the, for the film, you know? And just make it entertaining, cooperative. Um, if you're doing, like, a short film, a story, you know, write out the script. Be like, A, B, C, this happens. And uh, this is how it begins, this is how it ends. And just kind of go through it. And, like, it's okay if you can't, like, write the full script your first time. Just try it out, improv everything, that's what I did, and then it worked, it worked out, as long as you edit it really well, um, like, you make some trash footage look pretty good. <laughs> I'm sure you understand, I think it happens all the time, um, so yeah. You guys really need to check out his, uh, his YouTube channel, Real Tea Dragon, um, I did the 
most popular video on there is a Spider-Man video. Uh, it's, a, it's a romance story. I would like to hear about its inception and how you brought that one to life. Yeah, so um, one of my popular videos on my channel is like Spider-Man and Deadpool and Spider-Gwen. Is that the one you're talking about? This one has romance in the title. I can pull it up. I was watching it earlier. It's very <laughs> okay. funny. Well, my biggest video on my channel, it has about 5 million views. It's yeah, almost, that's the one. Okay. Yeah, so funny story, we were at Comic Palooza like 2014, my friend had a Spidey suit, this is before I even did Spider-Man, um, but uh, I asked him if he wanted to do it, he was a big YouTuber as well, he had like, his name's Meat Mug 713 he's at about 50 or 60,000 subscribers right now, uh, back then he had 30 and I had like 10, and I was like, hey man, wanna collaborate, I'll film you as Spidey, and you will just run around and have an adventure, and so that's what we did, and... It literally, we shot it in one morning. I didn't think it would do so well, and it freaking blew up. And basically, we ran around the con. I got him to, like, you were at a convention, right? So what can we do here? What is this? What is the possibility? So get him looking at comments. Let's get him dancing with other cosplayers. Getting him, I guess, a big thing about. <laughs> yeah, that's why I'm asking the question. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So. Um, I guess the big thing about the video is that Spider-Man kisses girls, like cosplay girls, <laughs> and uh, it's totally consent. We asked them and everything, uh, and uh, they kiss Spider-Man. He was just yeah, they kiss Spider-Man. He's a cool guy. It wasn't me. It's Spider-Man <laughs> consent. But uh, yeah, it was it was great, and it's, it's just as simple as asking, and uh, some people were you know down to kiss Spider-Man, and some people weren't, but that's okay. <laughs> 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 I absolutely love that story, and I was like, I'm going to ask him about it when he gets up there. Yeah. Um, so tell us about some of the things that you do besides uh, your YouTube channel. What other kinds of content are you creating, or what, what's, what's driving you right now? Yeah, so um, I'm actually producing my own uh, web series right now. It's about romance and stuff while I'm in Atlanta. I'm um, working with SCAD students while they're out of college over there. And so it's like, we, we finished the first three episodes, and then uh, we're working on the next three right now. And it's all in the background while I'm trying to release videos and keep everything going. Uh, but that's a really fun project I've been working on. Bye! Thanks for staying and everything. <laughs> and like I said earlier, the card game, that I've been working on this card game for since December of this year. And so from there, uh, it's like 120 cards. There's two different decks, and they have different kind of cards. So overall, I probably made about 300 designs for this card game. And uh, that all spurred from me just wanting to learn how to design. Because I come from a background where my brothers have always designed. I have two big brothers, and they just make t-shirt designs, or they do logos or whatever. And I was like, man, let me try my, <laughs> let me try my hand at this too. And I did it, and like, I, felt it, I felt like it was good. You know, I think a lot of... Uh, successful projects start because you have to build taste. You have to build good taste. So, what movies do you like and why? What movies don't you like and why? So, what designs do you like? What things work? So, my inspiration behind the card game was, you know, Hello Kitty, Tokidoki, Kid Robot. This kind of like very simple, plastic designs that I felt like I could come make come to life, and I, I just like them. You know. You know, they're, they're super cute. That's what I like to win. And then, uh, same thing with videos. I was like, what movies do I like? What movies do I don't like? And how can I create something that, along the lines of that, and that um, gravitate towards that? So, you know, if you want to make content and uh, you want to make like something that you might think will kick, like, base it off things you like. So, you want to make a gaming channel. Your favorite gaming YouTubers, you try to like learn from them. Like, there's a good quote from a Japanese artist in Japan that's well renowned for his art, and it's like, copy, 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 and then you'll find yourself at the end of the road, because no matter what you make, it will never be like what someone else made, you know what I'm saying? And only you can make that. So try it for a long time, and you're gonna find the art style, you know? Like, what kind of, what's your art style? That's a big question for a lot of artists when they first start out. Just keep on trying, you know? Uh, same thing with videos. Like, I didn't really know what I was making until like the third year, and, and that's when I, try to do it professionally, you know? And it worked out, so. <laughs> it took a long time, but a lot of work, but it's worth it. Um, so, okay, um, so I have a friend who just started out as a YouTuber, and she's really shy around the camera. What's a good way to help her get away from that? So, I think the great thing about YouTube is that you don't have to show your face. I know a lot of people are shy about that, even I was when I first started out. Um, there's a lot of videos where you, it's, just, it's just audio, you know? And you listen to them and they'll be talking about different facts about anime or comics 
or like random knowledge, like how to open a can or something. I don't know. <laughs> how to how to basic? That's a YouTube channel, and like none of this involves like showing your face because if you're really shy in front of the camera, I mean that's normal, you know. Uh, uh, I mean, if she wants to like not do that, I say just try a couple of times. Um, it's really difficult because I would say a big thing about YouTube that you have to learn how to deal with is just negative comments sometimes. And it's the minority, of course. Like, there's lots of great comments, but I think every day, consistently, I get about, like, three or four comments about, like, how I don't have eyebrows. <laughs> or how, like, I need to cut, get my hair cut or something, or how, you know, it's just negative, but um, don't feed into that because they're just, I mean, the thing is, if you even, like, leave a comment and reply to them, they'll be like, oh my gosh, you replied back. And I'll be like, what do you, why? Why did you leave that? But don't let it affect you. Um, just know that there. I think a lot of people that like stuff, they don't leave a comment. They just like it. You know, it's like think about how many videos you guys watch on YouTube and how many you actually comment on. And just like the the ones you like, you just don't even think about. It. You just watch it out. Haha. Go to the next one. You know. So just think about how that's in the background. A lot of people like the stuff. They just, you know, they're just not leaving the comment as much as negative people. <laughs> and they just. Yeah. Um, for her, like I say, try some videos with just her voice. You know, if she, if she has an idea, like if she wants to talk about something she likes, just you know, um, great video would be like. This is, my favorite anime is One Piece, so I'll talk about you know what are the One Piece characters' favorite food, and I'll just talk about that and talk about where in the manga that happens and correlated. Or like, what are what is what explain their superpowers in the show? I don't know. You know, it's like you can do a lot of things. So. So you have tens of thousands of followers on YouTube, yes. but in a lot of your videos, you're not even, you can't see your face. Yeah. So like, you get recognized at conventions? Oh, all the time. But I think that at the end of every one of my videos, I have about 300 on my channel, I always do an outro, which I think is really good because it's just like, you, they get to see the guy behind the camera because I shoot, edit, and do the whole thing behind it. And uh, it's just to let them know that there's a human behind here too. And um, so that's how I get recognized a lot because at the end of every one of my videos, I'm just there. It's like, hey, thanks for watching. You're cool. Um, subscribe if you want to, blah, 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 blah. So yeah, that's, I, did, I did get recognized a good amount, especially at conventions because that's where my videos focus nowadays. I was going to ask, uh, have you run into any logistical challenges when you go to the Comic Cons? Because I know like some of the people don't want to be on film. I know that you have yeah. permission with the ones you work with, but if you film like in a scene and let's say someone who's not supposed to be in the background shows up, yeah, um, I, I haven't really just... dealt with that problem. No one's made any like a problem about it, you know. I think uh, not a lot of like it, it, even though it does get views, like people in the background, like I don't, I don't even know. I think people think it's cool. Most of the time, they're like they send it to their friend or they'll tweet it to me, like, dude, I was in the background of this video just standing. <laughs> I don't know. So like, I don't think people get bothered because they know it's a comic con. They know it's a public setting. Uh, maybe once that has happened, and what I did was I just re-edited the video where they weren't in it and re-released it, but it's really rare, and uh, I think most people, they're at the con anyway, they understand, and you know, it's like the video itself is not about them, it's not focusing, it's about these cosplayers in front, so like, I, they never mind too much, yeah. So you don't have to worry about that kind of thing too much, but people that are on camera, that you do ask to be on camera, make sure that they're down for it. Uh, this isn't like a major movie production, it's like a YouTube video, so just get verbal agreement. Um, unless you're a part of a news station, then I know they make you sign stuff. <laughs> you know, that's, that's the fun thing about YouTube, it's not about quality. Like, don't worry as much about quality and how it looks and the production of it. It's more about the idea, the content, making people happy, making them laugh, finding something that they can relate to. So like, want to talk about Black Lives Matter, want to talk about cosplay, want to talk about LGBT. Like, it's, you know, like, that's, that's the idea, that's the content. So what do you have to talk about that that can make people want to listen, you know, and feel like they gained something from, you know, it's all about information, you know. Can people also make a career from YouTube because I've thought about it and yeah. maybe like if I someday like make YouTube videos I would like to make a career out of it. So yeah, like so I think definitely for sure that can happen. Like that's what I'm doing right now. I make a living off of YouTube. It's not a lot. Uh, every now and then I do like, you know, a, a freelance gig, but it's enough to like, you know, just kind of figure things out for now. Uh, but uh, I say YouTube, if you're starting out, it's an amazing hobby. Try to get a video done every week, if not like every other week at least. 
Um, or just make something, you know, if you can just make stuff. <laughs> but uh, yeah, if, if you're just starting out, keep it as a hobby, focus on school, focus on, you know, your part-time job or whatever, but like, you know, we all have 18 hours in a day, and that's including like seven hours or eight hours of sleep. So what are you doing for that, you know, like if a nine to five, okay, you have like six or seven hours left, you know, you can watch TV or you can try to make something, you know? And so, I, I, my nine to five is YouTube videos. So after that, I made a card game. So like, I'm just like, it's all, I'm always working, I'm always thinking what's next to do. And I can do that because it's fun. Like, to me, it's not really work, it's just creatively, like, that's like me on the recess, you know, outside just swinging on the swing set, just making stuff, that's what I like to do. So, if you can, like, focus on your school and then, Think about YouTube as like the fun project you just really want to do is like going on a field trip, making something like, then go for it. Yeah, just try it out. Um, don't let it like take over your life unless you feel like it's like awesome. Uh, but yeah, have a go at it. You never know, really. You know. Thank you. Yeah, you're welcome. Thank you.